Peace, what's good? It's your man, Lamont Brown, a.k.a. Mr. IMAG, the Steam MC. And I'm here in Lagos, Nigeria. It's been an absolute amazing experience. Uh, we did the event on Saturday, at burst in November here at the Marriott. It was incredible. I mean, just being able to connect with so many amazing people. The show was off the chains. The performances everybody was it was just great energy in the room it was definitely love and as a part of the overall experience in lagos it's just been mind-blowing like I, I couldn't have planned for a better trip a better experience we did everything that we set out to do namely connecting with the students uh getting able to meet them for the first time being able to talk to them and and learn more about them after talking online for about a year uh, more than a year, actually, just in that amount of time, just learning about them and then getting to meet them face to face was was really incredible. And that definitely added to the trip. And then I would just say overall, um, from the time we touched down, yeah, it was, it's been love, you know, even getting picked up at the airport, getting to, you know, be met with the traditional drumming, the music. Um, even the, the clothes, you know, just being, being embraced and, and shown love as soon as we touched down just made the trip even better, you know, and then it just went up from there from, you know, us doing the show at the Marriott, having a bit that turning into a huge dance party, you know, uh, we got to go out, you know, we, we got to, um, hear some, some music, her, uh, Fela Kuti's son meet the family. That was amazing. Drink some palm wine, you know, had some bitter cola. That was off like the first night, you know, and then the trip uh, just kept going from there, learning so much about just the rich Nigerian culture and being able to connect with the people. That's always the best part of traveling for me. Um, and then, you know, even from getting to catch a P-Square show, uh, getting to check out the island, like island and even um, one of our last nights here hanging out on the beach, shout out to 100%. I mean, this was, yeah, just the, the type of stuff that you might like see in a magazine or, or somebody sends you a postcard about. We was actually there on the beach in Nigeria. So stuff that I'll from, remember forever. Um, I wish we were staying longer. You know, we, we, we only had a, a few days to do our thing, but it's been amazing start to finish. Looking forward to coming back already. Um, yeah, with that being said, it, it's been a, a awesome time and un, until the next one. Please subscribe to Illegal TV. Yes, I'm glad you said that. So, um, the first thing I had was Amala. Um, it was spicy. <laughs> it was good though. It was good. You know, um, seeing that you know starting with the the yam and then seeing how it's made eating with my hands getting the full experience letting the flavor soak into my fingers you know what i mean adding that with some goat yeah it, it was actually very good i'm gonna get some more when i come back mala was good please subscribe to illegal tv yeah, so one of the important parts of the trip was connecting with Lago State, Lago State government, going to the Ministry of Education um, and getting to meet the, the PS, the permanent secretary. That was actually a very important thing that we had talked about, uh, Mr. Yinka and I, the Beings Foundation, and being able to reestablish um, Swaliga Foundation here in Nigeria. You know, we've been partnering for about two years now with the Vikings Foundation, supporting the students in ways that we can. Um, but now our goal is to increase that impact. So it was great to connect with the PS. He was super cool. I was telling him about our mission, what we're working on with STEAM education. And he shared with us the initiative that Lego State has to continue to push STEAM education. So that was definitely um, great to be able to make that connection. Um, and then the other individuals as well that even got to come to the show on Saturday. Um, so that, that was definitely an important part that we're going to continue to build on even as we continue to come back to Nigeria as well. Please subscribe to Illegal TV. Yes. So this is my first time in Lagos, in Nigeria as a whole. And 
I was looking forward to coming here because I can I can relate being a black person from America and even being from Washington DC there's a lot of stereotypes like people assume a lot of things about you people um have a certain image of you in their mind and I wanted to come here more so to show other people um and as I suspect it, it's a beautiful place the people here are are lovely peaceful um creative talented the food is amazing the vibe is just um it's love yo and I I wanted people back in the states to see that and understand that like like I said from the moment we touched down we've been shown nothing but love before I came here though I was told like oh it's a dangerous place and you know they're hearing about all of these incidents that happen and what I tell people is like it's good and bad places everywhere you go you know um from the time I went to Rwanda or South Africa they were saying similar things as well but I knew when once I actually got a chance to come here to Nigeria and see it for myself that we would be able to dispel any of those like you know stereotypes and I think that's important for people to see because more people especially from the states especially black people from the states need to come here to Nigeria need to come back to the continent um and see it for yourself you got to you have to experience it for yourself to really get it so that that was important please subscribe